Johanna. Johanna. Hey guys, welcome to another Junk Journal With Me episode. Today's journaling page is another one about the summer holidays and I wanted to get all of the leftover bits and pieces documented today so it's going to be a bit of a fun one because I've tried something completely new and it's a little pocket book or mini insert fold out book that is going to allow me to hold a ton of memories in one journal page. So more on that in a moment. Before we jump into the process, I'm excited to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. So Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes in a huge range of categories. It has classes on everything from drawing and illustration, bookbinding, business and photography, collage, painting, you name it, so many more different categories. So it's similar to YouTube in that you have thousands of different creators and teachers and topics to choose from, but it's a bit more refined because everything's set out in lesson form with more densely packed educational videos. So the other great thing about Skillshare is that it is super affordable with a premium membership costing less than $10 a month. And this gives you unlimited access to join and to try as many classes as you like that fit your specific needs and interests. So it's a really great way to fuel and develop your creativity or learn new skills in completely new hobbies without having to spend a lot of money or commit to expensive classes that you don't know if you'll even enjoy. So you can be really self-paced and pick and choose what's worth your time and it just gives you so much more control and more opportunities to further your education right from home. So I'm going to have a link down below to Skillshare and the first 500 of my subscribers to use that link can get a two month free trial. So if you're interested in checking it out, make sure you use that link so you can get the first two months completely free. And in today's process, you'll actually get to see a little snippet of a bookbinding project I learned to create in a class on Skillshare. And that's the little pocket book I mentioned earlier. It's super cool and it's so cute and fun. So you get to see a bit more of that as we get into the process. So all you've seen me doing so far is preparing the blank page for the pocket book to fit onto somewhere. So I've just began by decorating the page um, and just starting to layer things on. I first had some little scraps of book page that I used to break the page in and then I had this little piece of an envelope like a junk mail envelope and I'm using that because it has two little windows. I'm cutting that open to reveal the pattern on the inside and I'm going to use that as the front side to make a little window pocket. And then I wanted to use one of my new linen printables behind it because I just really wanted to use them. All of the linens you can see there on my table are from my brand new pack, which is pack 17. And you can find them in my Etsy shop. It's a digital pack, so you can print it out on paper. I've really been loving printing them out on sticker paper because then it's just really easy to peel and stick and it just takes no time at all. And then you can write directly on them. You can layer them up. You can do a whole bunch of things, but definitely my favorite is to write directly on them and to use them in backgrounds. So here you see me sticking on that little piece of envelope and I'm using that as a little pocket like I said so I use double sided tape to keep it open and that's just going to give me a little side loading pocket there. So all I'm trying to do is just add more layers and more interest to the actual page itself. I'm trying to include some things that are symbolic of our summer holidays so like I've got some imagery here from a book that's like of the circus because we did go to the circus in the holidays and that is one of the things that I'm documenting in today's process. So I'm also using that little bit of book page to create a little pocket down the bottom so that right hand side has two pockets already and again I'm just using some double sided tape to make that pocket. So here you can see the little um, triangular shaped book there in the corner. That is the little book that I learned to make in the class on Skillshare. And my idea was to attach this at the bottom of the page because it's a triangle shape. It would sit in the corner of the page and it's not overly bulky. It is a little bit like if you, if you had lots of these in your journal, it would definitely start to bulk up. 
but um, I guess as well because I've been doing much in this journal quite yet it's still got lots of growing room so it fits in here just fine at the moment but yeah, I just wanted to build up the page behind that so that when it sits on the page, it still looks quite interesting behind it and has more layers and more journaling sort of worked into all of those layers. So I'm using another one of my linen printables and I also used a little bit of blue vintage paper that I had laying around and I'm just adding more um, interest to the page. I'm really liking the way that that looks for the base of my page and now you can see that fun little pocket book. This is kind of not the best angle to show you all the little details of the book but you will get to see more of that at the end of the video. But all I'm doing now is just going ahead and adding more decoration and tucking in all my little bits and pieces of ephemera that I wanted to get into this pocket book. So I've got different photos from different um, days and different events and different things that we did in the holidays. And this little pocket book is really cool. It's like a fold out book like sort of like like the dollhouse fold out books that they used to have and so it kind of has four different sections or four different pages almost the way that it folds out and so i used each section for a different event or a different day that i wanted to document so i did one for the circus i did one for the swimming pool i did one for the ocean and i did one for the markets like the food markets and stuff like that that we did in the summer holidays so i just wanted to sort of dedicate each section to each little thing that we did so it is like i said a bit of an odd angle to really show you what i'm doing and i apologize for that but i am just adding extra little bits of decoration i've got little clip outs from vintage books i've got some more of my linen printables and then i've just got odd bits and pieces like little um, tickets and like little journaling cards and playing cards and stuff like that and I'm just trying to fill up some of those pockets and decorate it a little bit more. So I'm going to put a link down below as well to the actual class I took that taught me how to make this cool little book. So if you would like to try and make one yourself, you can go and check out the original class and you can learn how to make it. It was such a fun little project to try. I definitely want to do another one of these. I've actually got a couple of different ideas for themes that would be really cool to work into this project idea. I think. It would be really cool to do like a fairy tale flip book or like a really vintage style flip book maybe with like vintage photos and stuff like that i just think it would be quite cool to try different styles and different themes to get a totally different result so here you see me just adding a few extra bits and pieces onto each section of the fold out book After I'm finished doing this, I'm going to add a couple of stickers and then I'm going to go ahead and add in all of my journaling. So I journaled directly on the actual page in my journal and then I did some journaling in the little fold out book as well. And you'll get to see that at the end I've included uh, quite a bit of shots of the finished result. So after being on Skillshare and looking at all the different variety of classes that they have, I think it's a really great place to start if you want to sort of start taking classes but you are not in a position to do that in physical form if you're not able to go out and take classes wherever you are for whatever reason if you've got limitations of finances if you've got limitations on sort of your own personal self-confidence i know for me that's one thing that really holds me back from doing things in the flesh and going and physically taking yourself somewhere completely new can be really hard and so it's pretty cool to be able to in this day and age just access so many things right from home right from our fingertips and potentially further our education just by by taking it into our own hands and learning from home it's really really quite cool when i finished school i was actually pregnant with my eldest son and 
just after I finished school I did an illustration like a children's illustration course and I was heavily pregnant and I was traveling to this course it was like four hours to get there each week once a week for eight weeks or something and it was a good experience and it put me out of my comfort zone but it was I mean I was quite uncomfortable and if I could have done that from home I mean I could have done that same sort of thing from home and come away with just as much education and even possibly more opportunities to continue and further it by by taking more classes and um, sort of continuing on whereas doing it the way that I did it and traveling to do it it was just like a one-off thing and it didn't really amount to anything I'm still glad that I did it but I, I mean in situations like that if I could go back and just do it online I definitely would as well being a busy mother I guess um, taking classes and committing yourself to something where you have to actually show up can be quite intimidating and daunting and I know personally for me it I, I put myself off doing things doing new things like that I talk myself out of it because I've got too many other commitments so if you've got really odd sort of time commitments and and you feel overwhelmed when you commit yourself to things it's it's really cool to be able to just do classes from home and to pick and choose what works for you and stop and start at your own pace So now you get to see the final spread and, and the final little flip book here. I'm going to give you a little rundown of the whole thing and how it turned out. So you can see that this little flip book has four little sections and each section has little pockets and I've just tucked in my photos and my ephemera and then I've also added some decoration and I've also added some journaling and it folds up into this cute little triangular book which sits then on the journal page neatly in the corner and I just attached it with a big jumbo paper clip and I feel like this is going to be something that is going to be so cool to open out like later on in life or for someone else to open later on in life like it's like an extra little book within the book and it's going to have all this little hidden tuck spots and just it's like a little surprise I think it's so cute so like I said I'm going to link the original class and the original teacher of that class so you can go and check it out um, I really really enjoyed taking the class and learning something new but that is my spread today you guys and my journaling process I really hope you guys enjoyed it I just want to again thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video and if you guys are on the fence about it make sure you use the link in the description box to get your two months free and you can check it out for yourself. So I hope you're all doing really really well. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!